I'm biracial and I'm proud I'm biracial and I proclaim it loud I'm biracial, no hate can keep me down No matter what my haters say I proudly rep both of my races today I'm biracial and I'm proud I'm biracial and I proclaim it loud I'm biracial and no hate can Salam alaikum YouTube, what's cracking? It's your angry biracial back with another video. In this video, I want to examine some of the things that these modern men do. These modern men don't know how to act. Maybe it's something in the water because it seems like they've all lost their minds. But let's go ahead and dive right in. Sorry, man. I'm fucking sorry, man. I'm fucking sorry, man. I don't want you to go. I didn't do nothing to you, bruh. You mad over what? Like literally, I didn't uh, do this. Okay. You know I it's just, not. You I think just, I don't fucking love you, and I fucking do. My fucking god. Can you stop driving no. like this? You are gonna hurt us. Fuck no. Stop. Fuck that. You already hurt my fucking feelings. Can you not? Now that's just crazy and terrifying. Modern men can't handle rejection, and accountability seems to be like kryptonite to them. As soon as they are caught and held accountable for their actions, that's how they act. That grown man was willing to end himself and her in his emotional tantrum just because that woman no longer wanted to be with him. Imagine being that emotionally fragile and that controlling that you feel putting your life, her life, and the life of whoever's on the road with you in danger, all because you don't want to be held accountable for your actions. Stop! 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 You can video all you want. It's frustrating that I get to. You're killing me! Killing me! I don't care. You can film it. Can you just stop and get out of talk my way? To me. You didn't talk to me. You didn't say shit. You made me feel like shit. Make me want to kill myself. Ya Allah, what is up with these grown baby ass modern men? All of these men, whether you're in the black manosphere, the white manosphere, the Hispanic manosphere, they get online and talk all this shit about women. Modern women ain't this, modern women ain't that, never marry a modern woman. But they absolutely never address modern men. How these modern men gaslight, how they're narcissistic, how they threaten to hurt themselves, how they threaten to harm themselves in order to manipulate a woman. And most of all, how they throw temper tantrums. Grown ass men throwing temper tantrums. And after he did all that, squeezing his neck, that shit was funny, huh? squeezing his neck and shit, he walked over to his car and started punching his car door. Women today are terrified of these modern men. They're the first to get online and talk about they want a traditional woman. How they want a woman who cooks for them and cleans for them and takes care of the home. But there's nothing traditional about you when you're not stable and you can't provide for her financially. She doesn't feel safe around you. You're not a provider. You're not a protector. You're not a maintainer. You are a walking psychopath. Yet somehow have the audacity, the raw fucking gall to have all these high expectations of a woman. Most of these modern men so just be grateful that any woman would take them. Because if that's the shit that women are dealing with en masse, I can 100% understand why women are checking out. Why women rather be single and enjoy their peace than deal with some crazy shit like that. Puffery looked happy, but then he got caught cheating. No, we're not. Swear to God. No, we're not. Swear I swear to God. No, don't say that, dude. Jabby, take that back, dude. No. Say, don't say swear to God. I swear to God. No, dude. So fucking...
Do you care about me? No, not really. God damn it! Her laugh when she saw him beating himself in the face was hilarious as fuck to me. I don't know why. <laughs> it was funny. But in all seriousness, she needs to run and do whatever she can to get the fuck away from that psycho. He is giving me Wild Bill vibes. It puts the lotion on the skin. If she doesn't take drastic measures to get that psychopath out of her fucking life, she might end up a skin suit in his closet. Him hurting himself like that in front of her is the epitome of manipulation. Modern men are emotional as fuck. If she doesn't want to be with you, she just doesn't want to be with you. Have some dignity, self-respect, and let it go. And to keep it 100, the best revenge you can get on any ex or anybody that you feel did you wrong is to live your life and be happy, be successful, and move the fuck on. Oh my God, boy, you weigh 200 some pounds. Get off my car. Move. Oh my God. You lucky I ain't who I used to be. You would have got ran over. These soft ass modern men be doing the most. That particular brother has been throwing fits all across the fucking internet. to a lot of videos. And in almost all of these videos, it's always these bumish modern men that don't have a job, that are living with the woman they're cheating on, who are 100% dependent on that woman, who are out there cheating, running these streets and pretending to be something they are not, instead of being grateful that that woman lowered her standards to accept your broke bumish ass into her life and she gave you a place to stay, food to eat, giving you 100% of her. And all she asks for in return is the bare fucking minimum. It's being loyal to her, being honest with her, being upfront with her, and most of all, respecting her. And these fucking bums are not even capable of doing that. Before we move on to the next clip, let's take a Kang karate break. That woman might as well be arguing with herself, asking that modern man to have respect. Did she see how he was dressed? He doesn't even respect himself enough to pull his fucking pants up. How can he respect you or anyone else if he doesn't respect himself? If he can walk around in public with his ass hanging out? In my opinion, any man that walks around like that, with his booty out for the fucking world to see, is not a straight man, is highly suspect. Men who dress like that look like they belong in Brokeback Mountain, wearing some assless chaps and a cowboy hat. <laughs> but to keep it 100 with y'all, the person you choose is a reflection on you. 
And you can't expect a man who doesn't respect himself or his self-image to be able to respect you or anybody else. Why were you with her? Was I, I was not good enough for you? Yes, you were. Then why were you with her? You were okay, then, then, why, then why were you with her? No, then why were you with her? Why did you go pick her up from fucking rehab? Why were you with her? Then why were you with her? Why did you tell her you loved her? I don't. Then why were you with her? Why did you fuck her? Stop it. <laughs> I'm stupid. Yeah. I'm done. Get out. Get out. Get out. It's not fair to you. You fucked her when I'm. Modern men across the board are the biggest home wreckers. Old fucking Pablo there ruined his marriage, his life, and his family over 10 to 15 minutes of loving from a side piece. And the fact of the matter is, every person, especially men, knows what the end result is gonna be if you get caught cheating. So why do it? If you loved your wife, you wouldn't disrespect her like that. If you loved your wife, you wouldn't wanna do anything that would hurt her or break her heart. And I hate to quote this fucking predator, but as R. Kelly said, when a woman's fed up, there ain't nothing you can do about it. All the begging, all the crying, all the pleading in the world won't make a fed up woman change her mind. Once a woman has decided, once a woman has decided that you ain't worth her time, her energy, or her space, it's done. Put a fork in it, you're cooked. But the thing is here, modern men can't take what they dish out. For some reason, it has become male culture to expect women to accept you cheating to accept you putting their health at risk, to accept all the negative and toxic behaviors that you as a man put out there. But as soon as it's done back to you, these modern men are the first to get online and cry about it, to throw fits, to not wanna give her a second chance or take her back, even though they expect the woman to take them back. Old Pablo lost his home and a woman that actually loved him over a woman that didn't give two shits about you over a woman that wanted the same thing from you as you wanted from her. Modern men are ruled by their emotions, their lust, and their desire. They don't know how to think or operate past that. It's not women that are out here breaking homes in mass. It's modern men and their lack of self-control. Oh, look, another guy sleeping in my girlfriend's bed. And I have it on video, and I'm gonna ruin your fucking life. So how do you feel about that? Yeah, how does it fucking feel? I work my fucking ass off, day in and day out. Fucking 100 plus hours a week. And I do nothing but be faithful to you. There was plenty of opportunities I could have had, but I said no, and I didn't fucking do it. You're a fucking piece of shit. I hope you know that. I loved you, Leia. I did. I go to hell. Like it took everything I fucking had not to stop my house and grab my fucking gun and come here. You know what I played that clip because I wanted to make a point. Modern men are homewreckers. They don't think about the consequences. They try to jump on any woman that will smile at them. They don't care about the other man they are hurting and the real life or death consequences that could come with that. As you see, that man said it took everything he had not to stop and get his pew pew. And that modern man in that woman's bed knew that guy was there, knew she had somebody. And people want to say, well, how did he know? We're not stupid. That's how we know. We can tell by way someone's acting. I used to be out in these streets too when I was younger and single. And one of the first things we do when we walk into some woman's house for the first time is we try to nonchalantly look around so we know what the fuck we're dealing with and what we're getting into. Men know this, but they want to try to act stupid. But clearly that modern man in her bed didn't want any smoke. 
He was playing dead like a motherfucker. <laughs> Acting like he was still asleep. Modern men are the biggest home wreckers of today. They wreck their own homes and everyone else's home. And no, I'm not taking any of the responsibility from that woman. She's just as much of a piece of shit as that modern man in her bed. I'm gonna close out with a little candid personal story of mine. When I was younger, I was essentially a man whore. No, I wasn't getting paid for anything, but I slept with any and every woman that would let me because I didn't have sexual self-control. And that put me in one bad situation to the next. And it wasn't until I got a little older and I learned discipline that my life became better, that I became better. If a man doesn't have sexual self-control or de-discipline, sisters run because he will ruin your fucking life. Any man that's controlled by his lust and his desires is a man you need to run from. With young men, you can chop it up as just being young and hormonal. And you expect them to mature and grow out of that eventually. But most modern men, no matter their age, they don't change. Just like in my song, Kangs Be Kangin'. It's time creep by Kangs just be kangin', doing kangly shit. They live their lives in ignorance and pain. Kings just be king and doing kingly shit. A king is never gonna change. Yeah. In a world so complex, you pretend. Keeping it playing as if there is no end. Keeping it playing cause you don't feel shame. That's why I'm aiming to break this chain. King, king, till this day they remain. Amen, but they still cause them pain. In the shadows they lurk as if it's a legacy. Living in neglect, the but they cannot see that they cannot break me. Break, so make me stop being the better version so they can hate me. Cannot break. I had to put that plug in there. Go check out Kang's Be Kangin' on Spotify by yours truly, Angry Biracial. But the lyrics are 100% facts. Kang's just be kangin', doing kangly shit. They live their lives in ignorance and pain. A Kang is never gonna change. Kangs and modern men are the same fucking thing. Most of them will never change. And because of the ignorant, disrespectful way they live their lives, their life is going to be filled with pain. I'm going to end this video here. I have jibber-jabbered long enough. If you liked the video, let me know in the comments below. If you want to support the channel, consider becoming a member. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. All those things help a small, growing channel like mine grow faster. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, and most of all, stay safe.